think. Pam? Yeah, I don't know. Mike said no. Yeah, I um, said Haven't heard from Pam. She sometimes just forgets. So I'm going to start without her. Hank, we're going to. Yeah, we're go? Okay, let's open the meeting up. Um, we don't have a lot to cover. Yay. <laughs> um, approve the minutes, which they just spent a lot of time reading. You guys were okay. here, so unless. I have no. You have any problems with them now? Pam took rough <laughs> notes and Mike took a couple of rough notes and then I watched the video and I tried to get as many people's comments in there yeah. as possible. That's mm -hmm. you know, but it is it accurate, accurate? No, but it gives you a real good sense of what people said and yeah. what they wanted and and unless uh, anybody found corrections. Where's the apostrophe, dude? Yeah, where's the apostrophe? You don't like On the last page. Last page. Falls. Oh, yeah. Work done at the falls. You know, the computer does not like falls, period. Mm. It, every time I write falls, huh. it wants oh, me to autocorrect auto -correct it. Mm. Those things could be a pain in the neck. They have the. Sometimes they're nice, but uh, a lot of times they're a pain in the neck. The third paragraph on the front page, yeah. after selectmen, the very end of the paragraph, okay. I think the period needs to be inside the quotes. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to worry too much about that. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <Sorry. laughs> Sister Margaret. <laughs> You did miss a fun one, however. in there. <laughs> yeah, I, I really was so upset that we couldn't come. Yeah, you missed a call. Yeah. It went well, the meeting. Yeah, it did. We got a lot of good viewpoints. Yeah. Um, no shouting. Yeah, no no crosstalk, no. It was very yeah. organized. It was, it was good. It was okay. Hopeful. As long as we agreed. With everybody, Larry did a good job. He Agreeing said, with everyone, he said we're here to not find to out. argue with anybody, just to get your viewpoint. Yeah, to find out what they wanted, and that's what they did. Okay, motion to accept. So moved. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Okay. Good. Um, so tonight we don't have a whole lot on our plate. Um, the only thing here is we, we've got to come up with an annual report uh, for January. Mm -hmm. um, just going over what we did during the year. I could just go back through the minutes, come up with something. This is a thing where I can email it around and you guys could add and correct because we're not making a decision and no. we're not, you know, we're not. Yeah producing anything or coming up with decision making, we're just summarizing. summarizing. Yeah, we're right. So you're three, four people can email back and forth on that one. Okay. And, Sounds good. Um, but maybe I'll start something and send it out and hopefully Mike and Margaret will correct it and make it sound good. And then the only thing at all, the SP and H forms, uh, uh, so you guys have yours? Yes. And uh, we're, we, we're just, we're, Mike is not here, so we're missing his and we're missing yours. Yes. I thought you were going to hike, we were going to walk that. Did I say I'd do yes. that with you? <coughs> we should. Uh, now that but there's snow on the ground, we don't yeah. need to. Yeah. We are. We can, I mean, you can pretty much see most of it, and there hasn't been anybody in there. It's hard to say. Yeah. <laughs> this year. 
Brian demands to investigate but, every but, but if you can get All right, otherwise I'll just January. go ahead and do it myself. And, and on that one, where we can't contact them, there's mm -hmm. no way to get a hold of those people. I don't know. Yeah, I, there's no phone number or anything that you can find to get them. I tried last year, mm -hmm. you know, by using the info we had in, here in the office. I never got anyone to call me back. Or, I, mean, I know people that have the ability to be in touch with them, but uh, if we yeah. really need to be in touch with them, we could. Yeah, you don't them. necessarily need to, but they ask you, did you contact right. them in person? And, I was right now. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. So. Um, and then the only other thing, I, th I mean, there isn't a whole lot on tonight. Um, Pam and I just walked up and knocked on the door to tell me. Yeah, well, there. Yeah, there. Well, yeah, but Burgess is never there. Yeah, yeah. no one. It's, it's, yeah. Care, it's a caretaker. We knocked on the door last year, and she looked at us like we were trying to sell her a bad vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> and did you try? Did you? Yeah. This year we didn't try again after that, so we called so, a couple times. And, oh, we didn't have a problem. So I, I was going to do this. Um, I did it last year in November. It's not the best way of doing it, but this is the way I did it. Um, this is the financials, and I'll just give you a copy the for the year. Well, I don't know. They're, they're, I'm sure there's a... a, a but it, it, it lays it out so that I, I did it by property, what we spent. Yeah. And um, George Howard had asked for it. And, it, and it, it's, an, it's an interesting point. The Conservation Commission... Like he asked us, how do we budget for next year? We can't. But the only we have a two thousand dollar annual budget. One thousand six hundred of it is taken up in mowing. Mm -hmm. Two hundred and thirty is taken up in dues. So the two thousand annual budget is gone. And as far as our money market account, we never know if we're going to receive more money from the change of use tax. Of, of change of use tax. So there's no way to know how to budget. We made it. <laughs> we approve the minutes. <laughs> um, I thought I made. Oh, you know what? I thought I made five and not six. I don't need it. Yeah. Oh, <coughs> the financials. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Like sure. I'll just take one back at the end of the meeting. Okay. Um, and so this is what we spent, a graze-in property, um, the wetland permit monitoring, the eight interpretive signs, and then I put uh, the heritage path irrigation. Um, Prospect Farm was the kiosk and the mowing. But do we know if the her heritage path, is, is that a go, a definite? It's in. I yeah. know, but didn't we say if they can't find it anywhere else? Yeah, they didn't find it anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> the, just, I, just I, I, I kind of knew. Just I, mean, uh, I went to the next selectmen's meeting, and two selectmen voted for uh, the 540 half, and one selectman voted against. Um, and that's kind of where we were at. We were a very split group on that, too. So, okay. But they got their money, and it's in. Okay. The, the system's in. Um, I don't think we've Thanks. actually cut them a check, but it, we will this month. Right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Prospect Farm was the kiosk and the mowing. What does he, exactly does he mow? He, I know. I've got a bill right here. Um, well, no, at Prospect Farm, it's the two and a half acre clear cut up there, all the way to the top. He doesn't mow around like the, on the trees. And he mows right. around the orchard. And then, so that's the one on the way to Hall's It's edge. 24 yeah. hours of mowing each year. Believe, yeah. That's three solid days. And then trimming, which is 12 hours, um, is the cellar holes. And it, uh, last year it came in at 1630, this year it's 1680. It's right in the same When way. does he do it? Um, well, after the birds yeah. in September. So this year he didn't get to it till late October, November, right in there. So he does it in October. Mm -hmm. And it was Mike who mentioned you really can't mow until the birds have moved on out of the, the nesting, you know, the nesting yeah. grasses. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Um, <clears throat> and then Jackson Falls, uh, the action plan, and the stairs, and then the little things that we did, uh, revegetation mistakes, the conservation mix. So we spent um, probably our second largest year that I've been on the board. Um, that may, maybe you're not true. We spent 
our largest amount here on this property cleaning it up for the wetlands permit. And uh, but this year we spent a lot. We spent $9,000, which is more than we have in the past. Um, the kiosk and the stairs. We have, as far as I can tell, and it's not in the plan, but the biggest expense that we have looking forward, somewhere along the line, we need to fix the parking lot at the falls. I don't think it's deep enough, it's not paved, it's... Is that us or is that... Well, that's a good question. That's is that, does the state get involved? Because it's a state road and it's in the 50 foot. I mean, can you even do it without permission? Well, if you want to pave it, though, I mean, that would be kind of yucky. If we did a soft surface, we still need to. But the thing is, the more parking you make available, the more people you have there. Well, the existing the more, parking spots. The more overcrowded. Yeah, but the gets. problem with the existing parking spots is if you take my van or a suburban and you pull in, and we don't have a sign that says head on parking. Mm -hmm. A lot of days I go up there and they're parked like this and you get half the parking. Well, maybe you need a sign that says head in parking. But, but even with head in parking, um, it's not deep enough. We still need to, and then we have those crappy looking telephone poles. Well, it's not deep enough because some people have these massive cars. Yes. <laughs> Which, no, not some. Most people Most. have well, massive cars. I mean, we could do like this is the United States. You know, if we were to do an interpretive sign that says "stay on the, the paths," it could also say "head in diagonal parking only," just like the post office parking lot. Right. Well, we need head in parking signs somewhere. Yeah. We have no signs, period, in the parking lot, and no kiosk or yeah. telling anybody. We have limited, we have limited land too. Right. So I mean, I don't think you can make the parking lot any wider. You can. Not you without putting it. in fill and that sort of thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, and we're talking two to three feet. No? Uh -huh. I just, yeah. I wouldn't think that would be a good idea. Yeah. So okay, I, just a thought. Yeah. That, but that was a big project for the future. You know, I was thinking an expensive project. One that we might want to go to the town for and talk to. Well, what, what happens when the size of cars start going back down again? Because they tend to go in waves, you know, so. Yeah, no. Well, if they up the gasoline prices, the size of the car is going to go down. Yeah, yeah it's I think very, simple. Yeah. Yeah. very simple. Very simple. Yeah. All right. Well, that was just one project I was throwing out there that was a big money project uh, for next year. If, if we were to decide to do it, there's probably a trust fund somewhere that could be tapped for at least some of the money. That's my That's guess. A That's a possibility. But what would the, I don't remember the details of the switching the parking on the corner. Would that be the similar situation? Well, the creating spots on the corner. We've got the go ahead to do this for okay. next year. And we were going to create three to four. Okay. He said three, but I, I've looked at it and I think you can create four. And that'd be a similar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No <laughs> but we're taking away, <laughs> what are, you know, we're taking away three or yeah. four. Right. We're just making better spots. That's what right. it comes down to. Right. So, but that is a project we are going to, I hope, take on next year. Once again. Would that involve, yeah, same thing? Not necessarily increase the size. Change the, yeah, change the layout, better, change the layout, and put and, some signage in. Right, and then we also need Jay, you know, the town. Yeah. You know, um, and then we need to finish that stairs that will go to that. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to pull the one rock out of there that the guys put in there and use it as a, you know, a boulder. So they won't pull into the. And, yeah, somewhere. The under, under and then get some kind of what I call wheelchair stairs in there more. Uh, where you're coming down from a parking lot, it's going to be older tourists. Mm -hmm. Just you know, um, use some of this fill and grade it, you know, yep. like that. And so that so that's a, we need to take on next year's. That's one of the big ones, you know that. And then maybe in April and May, I, I was hoping that we could uh, do what you did. Where I don't know if anyone noticed what uh, Pam did, but she took a whole bunch of like little saplings, like this big, and moved them over around the stairs and to a blocking area see, where we need to block off. Works. I, I did the, um, I'm going to be a very lazy gardener, and I, and I tend to um, just put things on top. Uh, so you scratch the surface a little bit, put them on top, put them off of their soil around and see if they take. Uh, so we'll see if they take. Because I don't uh, want to dig into it because then you're just creating more. Yeah, energy. well he had dug. Yeah. They had dug, so it's soft. But anyway, what I thought is, um, I have a... Um, my brother-in-law has a piece of property on Pasaconaway Road that he has not done anything with in years, and it is full of little saplings, white pines, 
uh, you know, everything that's up here, fur, and, you know, we can take as many as we want. So it would be nice if we could, in the spring, do a little planting. And then what you said about down by the parking area, way down at the end, we need soil because nothing's growing. Yeah, and you're right, it isn't going to. So we need someone like Jay to, can we buy soil from the town or, you know, if, you know, can, as long as they haul, soil and, and gravel doesn't cost much, but hauling it costs a lot. So maybe the town can, mm -hmm. maybe we can work with him and say, can we offset your budget? Can we, you know, to get him to do something well, that start way. out by saying, hey, can you do it for us for free? <laughs> That's step one. <laughs> you didn't learn how to negotiate. <laughs> well, you talk to Jay, then. I'll, I'll be the... Uh... <laughs> did a load of chips get dropped? Yes. Oh, it did? Okay, yeah, I haven't looked. The, oh, the okay. There's wood chips in the, the parking lot. Oh, really? Yeah, underneath yeah. the snow. Underneath the snow. <laughs> oh, shoot. A little bit too late. Really. Yeah. They were in no, between the snows. Good. Yeah, the it's snow it might do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if not, they'll be there in the spring. That's right. That's yeah. Right. Are they in anybody's way? I didn't no. notice. No. That. Did anyone see no, that? They're right at the top of the um, yeah. guardrail. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I think that first, very first spot. Yeah, oh, they're, good. They're good. Oh, well, that's nice to have for next spring. We'll be really close to them. Could, could we put up more revegetation signs and ropes across like the Where? top of the road? I mean, the way that they did it next to the staircase. Yeah, I did it next to the staircase. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why, why couldn't we do that? I mean, I know okay. there's the plowing issue. Yeah, where? Um, where people park parallel, like just before Valley Cross comes in. Yeah. Like that whole section right there where we've talked about people pull way up. Right, on the, up the, you know, yeah. like on the bank. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there a reason why we couldn't just rope off that entire For now? area until, I mean, the winter, I guess, it's, yeah, it's going to be a deal because it's covered in snow. But yeah. If we're trying to, to concentrate use on those trails, if we have ropes, then people are, are forced to use the staircase and not use any... My only well, thought on that is, <laughs> is let's wait till but, spring, simply because every time in the winter you put strings up and stakes, yeah, they end up looking ratty. Yeah, you know? that's fine. I finally I just, went and took everything down because it just looks good. terrible. You know? And the yeah. thing too is that you need to be vegetate like with you know higher stuff like yeah. dogwoods or something like that so then you can take the strings down at some point because yeah. you know right. it's filled in yeah. yeah but you're right i think you probably need something while you're trying to unless you actually really have a budget to put bigger stuff in like well yeah. and, and that's something to consider i was looking down like where you said we need soil all the way down at the right hand side of the parking you know by the picnic table where it's not growing in well, I, I looked at that hill and said, well, what if we buy a couple, or even if we don't buy, we just go get a couple of saplings and try them in there. Put a white pine here and a, you know, and landscape it a little. And they'll just, you know, in time they'll just grow in. Yeah, so you could throw some dogwoods in there. Yeah, something like that. We don't want to grow it up so you can't see the falls and now the guys want to start cutting again. But we need something in there. You'll kind of need that eventually. Yeah. You can't get from like grass to tall trees without shrubs. Would it be right. so bad if people couldn't see it from the road? That's the way it used to be. Well, don't believe. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't I, think, I think that would be okay with me. Yeah, it would be okay with me too, but I don't think you're going to get the town to agree on that. So one. it used to be a oh, yeah. flat rock. Yeah. Because a lot of people road. over the years that we've been on this board yeah. have said, you can't see the falls anymore. Could they trim? And I hear it at selectmen's yep. meetings. I hear but it. I think if we say well, the road's washing into the falls because you trimmed, you know, we get a pretty good argument against trimming. You know, and there's you plenty plan of you places you can walk to. There's plenty of places you can walk to. You do to notice that they the trimmed from the right this year. Yeah, from the mm -hmm. uh, in October. Yeah, from oh, the really? picnic table down. Yeah, they and went and they cut. Or on the base of those trees? Um, just on the guardrail? They yeah, the on the guardrail. Yeah. They went over the guardrail and they cut so you could see the falls. Because on the other side. Yeah, yeah. That, I yeah. mean, no one's going to gonna walk over the guardrail. And they're always going to do that. But, I mean, it's up Depending further where we who's, need the who's in. shrubs. Yeah. Right. Who's a, right. Right. I mean, I think if it were forested, people are, are getting out and walking over to look at it anyway, yeah. you know? I mean, like, why can't it look like the opposite side does? I, I'm with yeah. you on this. I, I think we should try to grow as much as we possibly can there because 
looking at the falls now over all the years, there's just huge sections where nothing is growing. And that's only because it's been trodden down and cut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And cut. And, and when they clear cut, what happens yeah. is the glossy buckthorn came back and it squeezed out the ferns that were used to yeah. be there. Because yeah. when you open things up like that, these foreign faces take advantage. Yeah. So come April, May, we, we, I'd like us to do some planting as much as we can and revegetating. We can do that for, you know, no cost almost. You know, we, we have the Ernst, whatever, a conservation mix, so we can use that still. We could also look at the, um, the Hampshire State yeah. site. Nursery. You, you can get, you know, seedlings really cheap. Yeah, saplings in the spring. Yeah, I think you, you, need, to, to you order need to order them. like January, February. Who is really that? Cold. Was it the it's extension it's service it used to be? It's, it's well, we could save some money if we go with your suggestion with your brothers. <laughs> well, yeah, but no, even them. I mean, we're get, talking about a sampling. They're 50 cents a piece. Yeah. They're and a dollar a piece. And they're, and it's they're not worth the right now. They're getting them all up. But you can get things, I think, like um, wildlife packages where you get a bunch of different right. things where you might get red osier dogwood. Who do I contact? Get. It's just State of New Hampshire. I can look it up if you want. I used to get stuff from them until I ran out of space. Okay. Let me write it somewhere <laughs> so that I remember. Because I know you have to order. You have to order in January and February and you pick right. up by the end of March. And it's usually, I think it's the end of, no, you have to order by the end of March and then you pick up sometime in April. And you have to go to there. They have a particular spot in Carroll County where you have to go get it. Yeah. And I think it, it's not always the same spot. Yeah. All right. I'll try to but look at it. If you can find out anything, yeah, I think it's let, the Hampshire let State me know. And, farm, and, forest. And I'll, yeah, you're, you're, I, it sounds familiar. Forest. I think we might need to um, spread some more mix on the bank below the primary parking area too. Like that, yeah. that mix that we spread there doesn't didn't really take, seem like Well, it didn't it take down the right hand off. side yeah. at all. Is and that what just, we're talking about? No soil. soil. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we it's just, just stone, stone dust. Oh, yeah, yeah bingo. It's, it's, it's salt okay. and stone dust. Okay. <laughs> and we're I trying to grow grass in it. Because I looked at the stuff, you know, the, the stuff yeah, about the map you put down, that's not pointless. Yeah. It's just a map. Your agenda. Lose it somehow. Oh, I bet it's over here. There we are. Um. So, so. Oh, one thing we did find out at the meeting, though. Uh, I had the interpretive signs uh, for Gray's Inn here, Mystery House Trail, and I asked, would you, the the large group of people that we had, thirty people. Would you like to see this done for the cellar holes and the apple orchard? And everyone was all for that. And the other thing I ran by them was looping the trails. And everyone was very you know, excited about that. And Jackson Ski Touring has since talked to me. And they would probably help us, you know, maintain them and signage. And, yeah. But, but I, that's something everyone wanted to do. And I heard that they looked to try to make that loop trail in the past. So there might already be some foot tracks and well not about foot tracks, but then yeah. Jackson looked at making a loop yeah. to interconnect those trails. I looked at the map a little bit when I was walking around. It seems somewhat hard in some of the spots to do it entirely on town property without scooting off at like the Oh you gotta stay on the northwest property. Northwest. Time. Time. Yeah, we, we I know, but I mean, like, there's not a, like, right. in some of the spots, track. there's not an awful lot of land left. You know, like, for example, between the first to quail and. Between quail and, yeah, going yeah. up towards the bottom, you know. Yeah. And, you know, and in that area, there's not a lot yeah. of room. Unless we come, like, on the other side of the road as you go uphill, like, the opposite side of the road to right. the and came down. Well, that that's side. still a possibility. Well, even when, just before you guys came on, we walked to see if we wanted to log, I'm going to get the name wrong, the Upper Upper Trail is yeah. Beck, um, uh, Beth, uh, Beth something. Woods. Okay. No. But we walked, uh, there's hubs. we walked down, we walked that whole piece to the logging road down, yeah. and there should be a loop there as well. That there's this yeah, whole big, nice. yeah, the, the, the road kind of just goes out and dead ends, and yeah, it's just a forest. Right? Forest, you know, from that down to there would be another loop mm -hmm. that we, you know, we should do that. Mm -hmm. and prospect, you know, looking at it, I, I was, I'm just amazed that they have it in all these years. You know, loop those trails. They just 
Well, there's so many years that you couldn't even ski there. Right. You know, they couldn't get the groomer up, no parking. Right. It's always been, it's really only been the last handful of years that it's been consistently accessible for some Nordic skiing. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Man. Well, I remember like going to the first town meeting I ever went to, Tom Perkins got up and yelled his head off about blogging from both us and right. the Forest Service, you know. And that adds it to I'm sure. Yeah. I recall I was that like, well. oh God. Do <laughs> <laughs> we have a, a clear understanding of town residents and the Jackson Ski Touring use at Prospect Farm for this winter? No. Well, I, I think it's pretty clear. So I mean, you, do you need want. to have a pass? Yeah. Or if you're a town resident, can you ski up there without a pass? I, 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 I was under the impression, and um, this, I, I might be completely wrong by saying this, but I was under the impression that they were going to have a meeting in December and they were going to discuss it at least. This is the Jackson Ski Tour. Okay. And I had spoken to Kevin Calori, the president, and he had a few... He had a few ideas that were really helpful, you know, to maybe offset some of their costs so that they could do that. And one of the ideas, and it's really not for me to throw it out here, but one of them might be something like having the town plow their, to their parking lot and their parking lot, which would offset the cost of allowing residents to ski free. Something, you know, hmm. Those were some ideas that were bandied around, and, 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 and he had a couple of good ideas. Can he pull it off this year? I don't know, I, you know. But but at least he he was looking at a few different ideas to maybe make that happen. And then they still weren't sure on the legalities. Uh, I guess they felt that with their contract with the Forest Service, if some, it would be if you skied off a of Prospect Farm without a pass, it would be discriminatory. Yeah, they, that was because you can't allow, in other words, that's Forest Service land. They can do it maybe on town land, but they can't do it on a federal land. You know, they can't say one person can ski. And it's one, virtually unenforceable. And it's unenforceable. Uh, it's unenforceable. Yeah. So uh, there are a lot of problems still, but they're looking at them and they're, and they're you know, playing with the idea of coming up with something. Okay, so it's not official yet. Yeah, nothing. Okay. It's still like the 530s pass. Yeah. Okay. And then as far as what happened at the meeting, and I went to the next selectman's meeting, which was a week after, uh, or that week, the same week of November 3rd meeting, um, just to update you, um, is they pretty much left everything in place as it is up there. The only thing I believe that is not allowed at this point is off-road vehicles. Um, if someone wanted to go in and get a deer, they could ask for the key. Um, I think they were just going to change the sign and, and make a key policy. And otherwise, yeah, they were. Yeah. In the selectman's minutes, I was just reading them today. That's what it said. Basically. Oh, okay. And as far as camping, you can camp, but we're not going to encourage it. You can use snowmobiles. It makes no sense to. We're not going to encourage it. And that's kind of way it was left. So. Um, and non-town residents can get the key for hunt, hunting to go in for no, a deer? No, no, residents. It's always been residents. Yeah, I think it's only residents can get the key to, you know, get a deer or maintenance or I'm not sure if there's anything else that fits under that. Um, can people in the town dump in the stump dump? How does that work? The stump dump... Does no. not, is close. Okay. And as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't exist. Great. Um, <laughs> I, 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 it just, it, there is no stump dump up there. And, and Jay closed it. And, and um, I had I mean, an orchard before we know it. <laughs> There's a, there was a tricky little thing about the stump dump. The stump dump was given to the town by a kind of handshake agreement with the Forest Service years ago, maybe in the 60s, people felt. And so it was, we were basically dumping stumps on to the property that was part Forest Service, part town. town. Mm -hmm. And right on the line. Yes, and close line. and um, I guess they felt that agreement just stayed open. I don't, but they have nothing in writing. So there's. 
there's no and you're not allowed even bury stumps. I don't fire, know what the rule is. Correct, but I don't think you can bury a stump. There's a waste disposal law. It's strange. Just take it to the transfer it's station? No. no, you can't take them to the transfer no. station. You can't take anything over it? six inches. How are you supposed to do Well, that's why we had a stump, though. Yeah, there's a... There's a <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. remember if it's because the stump can rot and someone doesn't realize that it's under there and it's... You know, it's yeah. just strange. I mean, yeah, that's why they have stump stumps. <laughs> can't yeah. bury stumps. You can pile them. Yeah. Right? You can pile them. Yeah. Stump pile. Um, it sounds better than a stump dump. Uh, they just, well, basically what everyone said was they didn't want to create a campsite because if you create a hard surface, yeah, it just causes that. trouble. Okay. <coughs> uh, we weren't going to ban camping, but That's we sure. weren't going to promote it okay. either. And, and from what we can tell, no one camps there. Uh, you still need a fire permit. That's what I was just going to say. Regardless, so you have to go to the town to get a fire permit if, yep. if you're camping with a fire. Right. Yeah. Some people wicker camp because you use a stove. But I don't think we have much of that up there. And, yeah. and everyone's feeling was if you put a campsite in, suddenly you got a problem. Right. Yeah. You got to clean it. Yeah. And, and that, that was a good point. I, I it thought turns that. into like the end of Town Hall Road instead yeah. of. Yeah. What it is. A party place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, does anyone else have anything? I, I, I really don't have a lot on my plate tonight. Um, do anything about not weed next spring? <sighs> yeah, that's that's the, Yeah, that's the only thing that we failed on uh, and graze in property and it's it's gonna come back with yeah. a vengeance. I, I feel like we shouldn't be spraying. I think that stuff is gonna We sprayed and it seemed to have worked, you know, down by the stone bridge. Well, when we sprayed here, well. even yeah, this uh, it worked yep. pretty well. But it's coming back in, and that was five, six years ago. What we're gonna find out years down the line, it's like Agent Orange. Oh, I, 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 I fear you might be right. I, I, I have to agree with you. I know, hopefully, science will help out with that one. Cause what? Science. Somebody will come up with a yeah. better. Um, actually, um, goats. Um, you got to prove it's bad. Hank's mom it's not the, uh, was telling yeah. me that uh, she was just reading an article on, an, uh, they found a worm or something that eats it. Of course, <laughs> now we have to know what. What else eats is the it? worm? <laughs> well, and but else but is, she said she found it after it finishes eating the knotweed. What does, what it, does it, eat? it eat? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah, but but I said I'd love to see the article, so I might get it. And, and what comes yeah. out the other end sufficiently? So <laughs> yeah, right, so. right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, half worm. The worm dies, and more not meat comes up. Yeah. I, I would believe it. Um, anything? Oh, I do need one little thing. Um, even though we made a motion to have Rick um, mow. The bill hasn't been paid, so I, I just want a motion to pay uh, Rick's bill $1,680 for mowing prospect. So moved. Do you want us to make a motion? or that, That's Second. motion. Second. All in favor? Okay. Yeah, I, I just like to make it official. Have it in the minutes. And, and again, the only other one that hasn't been paid on this was the 540, which I'll hand in and it will be paid. Any news on uh, uh, Hayes Farm? Doesn't Will it? it? I, I've heard that it's going through, but we've heard that for two years. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know the answer. That'd be nice. Yeah, that would be nice. And then we, we, we talked about having uh, uh, Linda Camo come speak with us over the winter. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask about that. I forgot. Yeah, I'm not too excited about that idea. No. Uh, what is it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's about the easement. The, right? uh, yeah, we had talked about having Linda Camo over the winter come and speak to us about Prospect Farm and putting an easement on it. Yeah. And uh, I mean, <laughs> we could still have her do it, but I, I don't see the point. Because you really? could put it in easement without restricting any of the uses, right? This would not be a good time to do it. It's just not. Yeah. Because they've okay. already basically said they're going to let everything happen there that would happen. 
Yeah. And the point of having an easement would be to basically have stop a, some of that stop stuff. regulation. So no, I, all, I personally I, view it as like if we decided to be like anti building, that would be the point of an easement. The rest of it, I feel like, can happen under a conservation easement, right? Like you can hunt, fish, camp, all in a conservation We could easement. still have her come speak to us. I if, would if like she's to. A, okay. I, I'm seriously right. interested in yeah. putting the land into these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to be the chairman next year when you suggest this? <laughs> and I don't even know you? <laughs> doesn't hurt to suggest it. I mean, I just think it was such a, such a, you know, everybody had so many opinions this time around. It was nice to see, though. Well, yeah, and I, and I am all for yeah. town use and trying to accommodate as many people as possible, but... I just think for long-term use, I would feel much better knowing that it was under some kind of... I mean, it's kind of like an easement, because the town also, I mean, uh, the town managing it, right, is similar to the town managing a private easement to some degree. It's right. very right. similar. There's a set of guidelines. It's like well, kind of in easement. Know, right? no. Well, basically, if the town decided, if you got a group of selectmen in and the town backed them up, said, hey, we want to build... Yeah. A community center up there, they could do, yeah, it. could do it. And see what happens is you can still give an easement and reserve a piece of the land that's not subject to the easement where you could put a building. Yeah. No, I see that happen a lot with easements that they reserve like a house lot or two or yeah. something so that they can still. Two, two little quarters. That's what, yeah. I think that's what they're basically doing up at the Hayes Farm. Yeah. I mean, he's dead. there's a, I believe there's a section that's mm -hmm. okay. will be buildable. Right. Uh, but there might already be a structure on it. That, by so not conforming, know. so they. I we can't could we could have her come speak to us. It can't hurt. Um, I think that would be the only thing. Like yeah. for me, the the idea of if ski touring wants to build there someday, like if that discussion is like five years out or two years out, then it would be better to be proactive and like bring the issue up with the town ahead of time about what if they would ever want to go yeah, right. have a building up there. Not otherwise, if it just happens in two years, so like hey, let's build a building, and then you know we're kind of. And all the people that were at the meeting, because I think you did raise that. I don't. Yeah, right. it came up. They were not. No one was. No one yeah, wanted to. Because you like change the way things are now. Right. And they don't I mean, want to change it. It's, yeah. It's not a popular it item. I feel like that's the only thing an easement could do is do that. prevent a building, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. I had a uh, question about an easement, actually. That if, if you ski on the Ellis River Trail and you go up the first pitch after the water station. Says that that land was donated or put into an oh, easement yeah. by uh, Arthur Doucette. Yeah. Hmm. What is that? Like, who owns that? I don't know. Did Gino, know. Gino, Gino owns leading to it. I just we we never hear about it. Yeah, you got to cross Gino's land. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the piece of land. It's the top of the hill, right when the right when the right 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 I mean, they would have bought ski touring if you stayed straight. You'd yeah. actually. The precinct may own it. No, I think the precinct's land stops. Yeah. Well, you can just look on the town map. Yeah. And it will give you right. an idea whose land it is. And it's just an oh. interesting piece. Yeah. Right? But it doesn't come up under any. Was it Arthur Doucette's at one point? Of that I don't know. It just says Arthur Doucette. Said, well, Trust. Sure. It says, yeah, put into an easement, easement yeah. by the Arthur He did a lot for this town, Arthur just said. He, um, I, I always remember Dee McClave telling me the story of how they needed a ball field down here, and they dug the pond because they needed the gravel to fill in what that was nothing but a swamp and wetland. Oh, so <laughs> and they dug that pond so they for no other reason. The ball field. So they could make the ball field. And they just filled, and that's why they, we got a pond. Hmm. Yeah. And, and it was Arthur Doucette who did it with, on his own, with his own money, wow. and donated it to the town. See the Doucette that was the ski instructor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it was neat to yeah. hear stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, and we found out last meeting a lot of history you know, that we did not know, because we were all newcomers, pretty much. About that. So you, you, would, you may not be as much, but... <laughs> yeah, but Regarding that? About Prospect Farm. You know, I didn't yeah. know how well used it was and how loved and, you know, I, I had no idea. I've been up there many, many times. I never saw it under yeah, well, I've saw anybody up there. Yeah. Having the Kellys having a, that camp, camp out really pulls a lot of people in because that's a hunting camp effectively, right. you know, like, yeah. 
anyone who hunts native starts from there and makes the big hike, you know, so it's all those people that have... Yeah. And I guess they said they've used it for, you know, <clears throat> generations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they go up and it was the next weekend after our meeting that they were going to have their big weekend up there. Yeah, and, you know, we got like eight, ten people. I don't know where the hell they fit in that little hall. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen camping outside before. I've gone up yeah. and they have tents. Tents. Uh, yeah. 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 That side and inside, I suspect, anyway. Yeah, it's probably nicer outside. <laughs> yeah. It looks it. Yeah. Um, I don't have a whole lot else on the plate. Uh, going into next month, the only thing we need to do is come up with that annual report. I'll go through the minutes, jot down some ideas, and I'll shoot Did I write that last year? I feel like I wrote some You did, report. yeah. I probably have it saved. I'll look yeah, but it obviously changes every year. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to copy it. <laughs> Just fill it Just so new I date. <laughs> Yeah, we, I think we did that. Um, <clears throat> yes, I, oh, I did go up um, and put all the signs up, except for one. <laughs> I didn't have the kiosk sign yet, and I went up and I cut all the trees. There were like six or eight trees down up there, mm -hmm. yeah, quite a few. Uh, so I cut them all up, cleared the trail off, and I hung the best I could. I see like uh, the first one where the dam is over here. We need to do a little clearing. And so I put it on a tree there, but you might even walk by it and not see it, you know? And we need to make it look like there's a path so that you can get down to the sign and actually see the dam. We might actually have to cut one or two little things right there in the wetland uh, just to make that visible. Would you need a stake? Like no, I put them on trees. Uh, I used stainless steel screws, Man. and I, I, the pond was right there, that was easy, that was the second one. The third one, it never got put in, was the glacial erratic. I got up there and I couldn't remember which glacial erratic it was. <laughs> on but the, on, the, on the mystery loop? Yeah, but on the... It's a huge rock that you have All the way to the end. You go well, I didn't property, know that. Basically. On the go map, on. which I didn't have yet, the kiosk sign, yeah. it shows which one. So I put all the signs up except for that one, and then I got the kiosk sign, and I just put it up. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's all these things. And then, yeah, next year I hope we can make progress at the falls. That would be the that would be a nice one, and I think we can. I think we, if we do some planting, we get the stairs. We've got the okay to do away with parking on Valley Cross Road and create that parking lot. Have we solved uh, Pam's favorite problem of people crawling down the edge there on either side of the? Not yet. Not yet. Just the way it is. Near the bridge. Yeah, near the Green Bridge. Yeah, bridge. bridge. Still the parking to... goes away on Valley Cross. Yeah, Cross we'll be able to solve that. Yeah. That, that. It's already growing it's in. It's pretty precarious. It's like, yeah. It's a commitment of a yeah. Down. Yeah. Walking down. People there. Definitely, people go out of it. Dogs or people are going underneath it. You can just tell. I mean, yeah. And the ferns aren't as, as, you know, they used to be much more vigorous. Yeah. And then they cut them down. They didn't come back very well this year. But maybe yeah. next year. Poisonous snakes on would definitely. <laughs> yeah. Poison, Poison ivy. Poison yeah. ivy. Poison ivy. Yeah. 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 Poison yeah. ivy and a viper. Get some, get some rubber, rubber rattlesnakes and put them in there or something. Yeah, I know that that's not possible. Um, this might be our quickest meeting. I, otherwise, I don't. I'm all right. Yeah. Because it's like Mike said, you know that place that we went to. Sorry, we just talked oh, about. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, like Mike said on in, on that place in Maine where people there just were only so many spots, and yeah. then you couldn't park there. We we're just talking about. I'd love to eliminate all the parking on Prairie Ranch Road for the falls. Yeah, yeah me it's too. It's not in the lot. You can't. Do it. No. I know. It's it, it's it, our town beach. But it's it, not that it, it was, then it would say residents only. Yeah, it's a, get to yeah. Mm, I'm not falling for that one. This, you know, this was an interesting topic. Even on Prospect Farm, it was very interesting. Several people said, "Well, we want to be inclusive, you know, and you're and you're making it restrictive." And then I said something about the chamber telling people to go up there. Oh, no, 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 we don't want tourists going up there. Right. <laughs> well, that's well, the thing. That's the point. Once again. 
for what do we do here in town? Do we make microchips? <laughs> no, we have tourism. <laughs> <He's using my laughs> yeah. It's a brilliant line. Yeah. It's the only thing we do. Yeah, but you don't have to sell People yourself start out. About yeah, it. I mean, you like, like I market quality is a long time. time. Market quality, do not car cheesiness. Do we write software? No. I, I understand that we need yeah. tourists and I, I want them to enjoy the falls. Right. I have friends How did we from get here? Town, but There's why? There's no real tourists. No. But that doesn't mean that we need to prostitute ourselves right. as <laughs> the resources for the tourists. I mean, I really think, right. like, we talked about other options. People can park down low. If you had a little business on Main Street, you'd want to be prostituting yourself. Absolutely. They're not going to the falls. They want to go stop at one of the little shops instead. That's right. Yeah, and you want people who are... That's true. You know, making people, good decisions. People come here for the falls, the covered the bridge. Yeah, the I mean, is it not like we we can't even try to get rid of the parking at the falls? Not no, not no, the falls, no, just, just the spots on Carter Notch Road that are. Or up you you mean all of the, along there? Yeah, all along there, outside <coughs> of outside of. When I step down as chairman, there. I will suggest that as a project. <laughs> I mean, like, clearly, I want to help you fight. I will fight for this. I just need to know all the steps, the appropriate steps to take. It would look nice if you drove by and it wasn't just like cars, an so armored area of cars. It wouldn't yeah. be so overrun too. I mean, it I looks trashy. Like, like, it does it's look trashy. Yeah. I agree. I, I think it sells. So it's, it's poorly. diminishing the value. I, I, of it. I think you I should agree. speak to the selectmen about it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I, well, because well, I mean, yeah, I mean, we we have fought every inch of the way. To get Everything, what we've you know. gotten so far, I mean, and fought. I, I, they they have never just said, "What a great idea! Why don't you guys go ahead and do that now?" Yeah, we. The, the, the big argument is we've always done it this yeah. way. Yeah. We we yeah. had to yeah. we had to compromise I on. I know it's terrible logic. We had to compromise on even some of the trails on which ones to cut down. So to to. To now go back to the selectmen after they've reluctantly agreed to getting rid of yeah, them. We're just slowly moving forward. So we're maybe we big do the Baby steps. I say we do it in a year and then look at it and then go back to them and say, okay, we've done this, 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 look how good it all looks, look what we've done. Yeah, but now are, what about more people are coming right. because the falls look better? Well, I don't know about that, but if doesn't mean you can't say it. But in a couple of years, <laughs> yeah. we, we will have done a lot of improvements. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when things start growing in, it will really, you know, when they see the effect that we've had in a couple of years, and it will take two, yeah. three years, then they might say, go to it. To yeah, then, then say, look. Somebody to run a van service to You know, look what off. we've done. Like if each hotel. <clears> well, one of, the, yeah. one of the ideas that we there. had. Oh. <laughs> was to have a kiosk, which we need yeah. to do yet, in the parking area, to describe, one, how to use the falls, two, what are those big metal pipes that nobody seems to totally know. Um, you know, get a little history, but three, say there's additional parking down below Four, at the what town. what are some of the native Hall. plants you're looking at right here? What are some of these trees? Are well, those, are, bad those are blueberries. Yeah. yeah. But a, even lot of, a lot of locals don't want anyone to know about the lower section because that's there. No, but as far as parking, right, we could direct park, people park in the kiosk to park below. Park, yeah. We can't direct them to park, you know, in Wentworth area, but we could direct them to park near the town hall and but isn't the Wentworth property, isn't that? That's, that's the other it's, side of the room. It's an easement. It's owned by the Wentworth, but it's an easement that was granted to them. And in the, by the town? Is it owned by the town and there's an easement to Wentworth? Or there's no, Wentworth owned owns it. it. Wentworth owns it. Okay. And the town has a recreation easement and so does the Wentworth uh, uh, oh, Condominium sorry. Association. Oh. And um, it was granted to them by Ernie Mallet. Um, so technically, it's not just one of the parking lot, then, right? Correct. Am I they, understanding you? It's technically, technically, the easement actually says it's not to be used for parking. It has been used traditionally for parking for now, for what? Forever. It's where the church parks. 
Yeah. It's where, so we've always allowed it to be parking. We've ignored that part of that easement. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if you look at it, I guess from a soil perspective, you're even closer to the terrible. river than at the falls. You know, at the falls oh, are like at least ten feet away from right. the river. You're, 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 you're on the river right. bank. Yeah. yeah, you're on the river bank. Uh, but it's been used now for parking for yeah. years and years and years. I would not put it on the kiosk so not to mess with the church and the, yeah. and the Wentworth parking. But I would say the town hall, yeah. there's a digital parking there. The, the original plan, the Wildcat Management Plan, it has a plan for there to be a staircase across the river from the town hall. It would be pretty neat if you had a a bridge from the top a bridge to the lower falls so that you could walk up that's that was in the wildcat management plan that'd be a lot of buildings uh, yeah and so not exactly to ruin the, uh, that would be awful it'd be terrible yeah i i, I personally think it would be just, just awful as, as nice as that would look it wouldn't look nice at all it'd be a great view from there when you got out to the center of it it wouldn't you'd look have nice. people all over it the would not look nice, nice. at all it would be ruined. Right. Yeah. 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 but that was the original plan in the wildcat management plan, the boy, the Forest mm -hmm. Service came up with. If you see what they did, the lower falls. You know. <laughs> How far does the wild and scenic designation go? Until it hits the right. Yeah, up. yeah we there's a somebody has a GPS coordinate, but as far as what we call the uh, where the Ellis comes in, is it the first one or the second one? There's the island. Right. Yeah. So the Ellis meets here on this side of the island with the wildcat. Is that where we we're never sure, um, or is it the other that was side? The lower one for some reason might be the lower one. I, I never knew it was a. It's a, way I'll find out. it's a GPS coordinate. It doesn't go by. I'm going to adjourn the meeting unless somebody has anything else.